Thank you, Ashley, and thank you to everyone who joined us here today for this presentation on Meridian Cloud. Just a quick agenda uh, slide. Yeah, uh, one slide, give a quick overview of Hagerman and Company, uh, then an overview of the Acrylic Company, who is the developer of Meridian and Meridian Cloud, overview of the Meridian Cloud product, then we'll get into a demonstration and follow up uh, with a Q&A session at the end. Uh, Hagerman and Company, we've been around over 36 years now with the same uh, constant ownership and management the whole entire time. So we've been a very stable organization, uh, able to support our customers. Uh, we have offices spread out throughout the entire United States. Um, so we cover all the U.S., uh, also do a lot of work in foreign countries as well. And we've been implementing data management products like Meridian for over 25 years and have completed well over 1,200 successful customer projects during that time. Um, the Meridian product, just a quick overview of where it's used currently in industry. And I might interject here, I'm not quite sure of our audience mix today if some of you already have or are familiar with Meridian, others may be new. So if you have Meridian, uh, some of this will uh, be remedial for you. Um, so I want to just kind of bring everybody up to date and get on the same page as, as much as possible. So you can see some of the different industries and prominent companies that the Meridian product is focused in. So in the manufacturing area, you know, very uh, plant and equipment oriented industries, as you can see here. Um, also get into engineering firms, you see, uh, government and transportation, um, other government agencies along with manufacturing. Um, also very prominent in higher education, healthcare, telecom, and other industries that you can um, see here as well. Now, one of the big things with Meridian as a whole, um, and we're going to differentiate here in a little bit between uh, a couple different levels of Meridian, Meridian Enterprise, and then Meridian Cloud, which we're focusing on today. But both products really focus on providing seamless integration across all of these important areas in terms of document and data management. Uh, you can see you know, one of the key things is just providing general document management features for any type of document, check in, check out, searching, viewing, uh, reviews and approvals, all those kinds of basic features. And then most customers that use Meridian are also heavily into uh, using or at least needing to manage CAD files. Uh, so CAD integration is another feature of Meridian. And as you saw in the earlier slide, a lot of companies who use Meridian operate on a 24 by 7 basis, whether it's a manufacturing plant or a municipality or you know, some kind of building or infrastructure. Uh, so that you may have a need, somebody's going to need to pull up a drawing or document no matter what time, day or night. And Meridian focuses on providing a variety of very easy platforms in order to do that. Uh, also, support for engineering projects, which goes you know far beyond the normal check in check out uh, that a traditional system might have, uh, Mer where Meridian focuses a lot on companies who do large long term capital projects, so that existing master or release documents can be assigned to one or more long term projects, and while those documents are out to the project, be kept be kept separate from the master or release documents that your operations and maintenance staffs are using uh, while those project copies of the documents are going through their changes, uh, reviews, approvals, you know, construction is being completed, and then Meridian can seamlessly hand over uh, the new as-built as the latest updated release copies. Uh, also collaboration with outside parties. Some of you may work a lot with outside engineering firms, or if you're an outside engineering firm, work a lot with customers, uh, Meridian provides integrated capabilities 
or collaboration with outside parties in terms of generating and sending transmittals, allowing cloud-based collaboration and file sharing, importing documents, and so on. And then also, again, as you saw in the customer slide, a, a lot of customers are very focused on having a lot of assets and equipment that they need to maintain. Um, so you've got a field staff out there doing that. You know, they, they're at a particular piece of equipment. They want to be able to look up that piece of equipment and then click a button, and there's all the documents they need to take care of it. And Meridian provides that capability to link documents to their related assets. And that, you know, all these features go for both Meridian Enterprise, uh, which is a customer installed and hosted solution, and Meridian Cloud, which is the SaaS based solution we're focusing on today. Um, you know, other areas of seamless integration with Meridian is between release drawings and project or working process files, between office staff and operations personnel, between internal staff and external contractors and engineers, and then again between equipment and asset records and their related files. Um, so, you know, flexibility with the Meridian product. Um, Meridian servers can be on-premise or installed in your company data center or like an Amazon data center. And that would be the Meridian enterprise product. Then the cloud-based, uh, Meridian Cloud is what we're talking about here today, which is a hosted solution um, where all the servers and software are hosted by Accruent. Again here, just kind of a breakdown of the products and platforms, Meridian Enterprise, if you're familiar with Meridian already, that's the, the product you're familiar with. Uh, Meridian Cloud or Meridian Cloud Business, which we're focusing on here today, uh, which is a cloud or SaaS-based version of Meridian Enterprise, uh, supports all of the functionality of Meridian Enterprise, although the product is less configurable than Meridian Enterprise, which has advantages and disadvantages in that you know, Meridian Cloud, Cloud, you don't have to worry about installing the software, um, you don't have to worry about updating it, you don't have to spend a lot of time configuring it, it's basically just kind of turn it on and go. And then Meridian Cloud Project or Portal is a separate product for cloud-based collaboration with outside parties, which can be used on its own or can integrate with Meridian Enterprise or Meridian Cloud. Again, as we go further here in this presentation, we're gonna be focusing on the Meridian Cloud product. So this is my landing page for Meridian Cloud. And you can see kind of some of the, the different interfaces. The Meridian Power is the main client that people would use for creating and editing documents, reviewing and approving. That kind of thing. So that's what we're going to focus on a lot. Um, the other um, client we're going to focus on is the Meridian Explorer, which is designed for search view print users. And the Explorer is designed to be run in a web browser uh, from a desktop computer or laptop. Alternatively, there is Meridian Mobile, which Meridian Mobile will run on iOS, Android, and Windows-based mobile devices so that search view print users who need to move around a plant or a facility, they can access drawings and documents right from their mobile device right at their current place of work. Um, and we talked about portal analytics. Um, does a lot of advanced reporting and providing insights on the data in Meridian. So those are the different uh, platforms and clients involved. I'm going to start off, just go into Meridian Power. I was on a PowerPoint slide. I was thinking I was on the actual software itself. So let me jump back over here. Here we go. Uh, so this is the real thing here. Uh, so I'm I'm in Internet Explorer in this case, so I can start up Meridian Power. 
Now, those of you who already have Meridian, you may be using it uh, with the desktop installed Meridian Power User Client. This is the Power Web Client, um, which Meridian currently has both clients to use, and, and a customer can just uh, use whichever they prefer. So, documents, so I'm in a web browser on my laptop. And now I am actually connected to a Meridian server running on running in a Microsoft Azure data center, um, and that server is completely maintained um, by accruent staff for you. So your IT department doesn't have to do anything as far as managing and maintaining that particular server. So all of the drawings. Um, all of the documents, all of the data, that is all being accessed um, from my laptop, which I'm uh, working at home, as a lot of people are, uh, connecting to that remote cloud-based Meridian server. Um, now, documents in Meridian are organized into folders and subfolders, just like you're used to in Windows, and you can set that hierarchy up. Um, and the, the master's area is where I'm going to start. And these are my release drawings and documents. And this particular vault is structured so that uh, documents are organized in um, hierarchy based on uh, general geography, then plant location. And again, this can be however you need to set it up. And then by discipline and then by discipline code, and then down to my actual drawing. So, you know, if you do that, that's just a lot like Windows Explorer, but once we drill down to a drawing, we can get a lot more detailed information. I can get a thumbnail of it, I can see its revision, I can see its status, whole bunch of information, and then I've got a lot of other detailed information about each drawing or document. Think the region, plant, area, unit, system, discipline, classification. Um, and that's one thing about Meridian Cloud, as opposed to Meridian Enterprise, these properties and property pages are pre-configured in Meridian Cloud, so you don't have to set them up. And you don't have to use all of the properties, and you can rename the properties. Um, but in general, that's all set up and ready to go for you out of the box. Um, and then I can you know, have other detailed information, if you have if, um, AutoCAD files or uh, other CAD files or something you're managing, you've got intelligent title blocks, that information can be read out of the title block by Meridian and displayed here. And of course, this can be displayed, it can be searched on, and so on. And then Meridian has integrated viewing. And also Meridian Cloud has integrated PDF renditioning of AutoCAD and also MicroStation files. So actually when I click on the little icon here to view the DWG file, it's actually pulling up the PDF rendition. So that's created automatically. Um, so it is nice and it's a smaller file. Anybody who's got Adobe Reader can download it or they can view it right inside the Meridian application. Uh, other file types, if you have stored in Meridian Cloud, it would be a right click and then a download or open to bring it up into a, a native viewer on your computer. Also here, we can see on this document all its revision history. So we can see all of the information on past revisions or go back and open and view a past revision. And also we can see uh, reference information, like if you have XREP, all that reference information is tracked. Um, project copies, so we can see actually this particular drawing is assigned to a couple of simultaneous projects where it's out under change. And while with all the hyperlinks, we can actually jump to those project copies. So that complex 
thing of uh, managing what drawings are assigned to what project. That's all tracked and managed inside of Meridian. And then if a uh, document is in a workflow, which actually, if I jump to this project copy, so now I'm down in my project area, and this drawing is in a workflow, I can see where it is in the workflow. And then I can jump right back to my current master or release copy. So, so as you can see, it's theme, again, kind of theme is seamless integration between all of these different areas within Meridian. Uh, we can also, nice thing with Meridian is um, view our files, view and browse our files through uh, different, what they call navigation views. Right now I'm just browsing my folders, but I could say, resort all of my documents um, by to-do list. So now here's all of my different users in the system, and then each user I can see what they've got under change, um, what they uh, need to correct, what's in review, or I could say um, status in person. So now I can see here's all of my files under change, and then who has what under change. I've just got one file in review. Uh, we can also resort our documents by uh, by building, by classification code, by project. So same set of documents, we can slice and dice and uh, display them differently to make it much easier to find information. Or if I go to active comments, this is showing me all of my drawings or documents where somebody has done a markup to say, hey, we need to change something. So somebody out in the plant or facility does a markup, somebody back in the office can see those files quickly and easily to get those changes processed. So here again, we can see this particular markup. And in fact, I've got this drawing assigned already to a project. We already completed this step where it said, hey, um, now this is a simple change. You might not really assign it to a project for this. So we'll, we'll you know, pretend maybe this is a bigger change. Um, so I've already created my project copy down in this folder. And we can see that it's in the workflow under change. Now I might go ahead and open it into AutoCAD. And I'm going to just pretend here a little bit, not get all caught up in what CAD work needs to be done and make a change to my file. And then now I can say, send that file for review, and it's going to default it to sending it to me, but I could pick a different person. So now that file is in review. Of course, then if I go to a different view, my to do list, there it is on my to do list. And if I open it, I can see the change. Um, actually, if I um, wait a little bit, it would update my PDF rendition automatically, and I would see that circle there. So now I can say, if I released it,
I could then release this file. And then if I said, I could then release it as a new master revision. And I'm going to just cut out some of these steps just to keep things shorter here in the presentation. They would automatically come back and update that master we were looking at earlier. So again, you can go from the project copy to back to the master and have it update. Um, so that's a couple of different areas we're taking a look at. Um, also in Meridian, you can have equipment records. So for instance, here's a particular equipment record that we have in here, which could be just managed in Meridian or cannot be automatically synchronized from your um, maintenance management system. If I go where use, I can see all of the documents related to this asset. So if you searched, so if, uh, you know, somebody did a search, they were a piece of equipment, typed in the tag number, they found it. There's all the drawings and documents related to it. I can go to that file. and take a look at it. Or if I go to my Meridian Explorer as a search view print user, and did that same thing, There's that asset. So you can imagine how easy it is out there. Find the documents you need to get your job done, whether it's a manual, a drawing, or any other kind of document. Or I could do some more searching. I can do a forms-based search where, for instance, I could say, I want to find something in the, I know it's in the uh, Sao Paulo plant. I do a search, I get 100 documents. That's a lot to wade through. Well, I can refine it, say, I know it's in the main office area. That took me down to 49. And say, so I know it's an electrical. And the, these lookup lists, that I'm selecting values from, they're automatically filtering down. So my list of discipline values, it's only showing me the ones that are basically children of Sao Paulo main office. Um, and I could do a search there. That got me down to seven documents. And then from here, I can view any of them that I wish, and then also see any markups. So as far as having a, a system like this that ties everything together, again, besides you know, what I showed you in terms of Power and Explorer, um, but also getting into the portal, mobile and then across all those areas um, you know there's really no system on the market that compares to meridian for that that type of thing we go back here a little bit um we'll talk a little bit more about you know who meridian cloud is a fit for versus um maybe the on-premise meridian um, 
So yeah, Meridian Cloud Business is really targeted towards customers who are owner operators. You know, so they own a, you know a plant or physical assets in terms of you know buildings, transformers, um, that type of thing. Um, the customer CFR 21 Part 11 means FDA. Um, those customers have um, specific document management requirements as outlined by the FDA. Uh, Meridian Cloud is not yet um, set up for that. Um, document types can be either categorized as facility, project, or generic documents. Um, you don't need a customizable workflow, you know, just a basic document workflow. Um, the, the properties and property pages or the metadata or a subset of that, as I showed earlier, um, Meridian Cloud is for customers for, for whom that would be a fit. And I crossed this one out. Um, this is new. Uh, before it was limited, Meridian Cloud was limited to 2D AutoCAD MicroStation, like raster images, PDF, office documents. Now Inventor and SolidWorks are supported by Meridian Cloud. Um, you as a customer, and I don't think this is gonna affect many people, um, need to have less than 200 simultaneous users and 2 million documents. Um, again, hosted in the Microsoft Azure data center, uh, the integrated viewing, as opposed to actually opening a file, can be met by the PDF rendition, and again, no on-premise hosting or replication of data is required. So if Meridian, Meridian in general fits your organization's needs, and then these specific requirements or limitations of Meridian Cloud are not an issue to you, then Meridian Cloud can be a very good fit for your organization. If you need more capabilities, more configurability than what we've outlined and shown here, then Meridian Enterprise the on-premise solution, which is more highly configurable, is probably more to your needs. At this point, we just wanted to keep the presentation, uh, you know, just pretty quick introductory presentation here, um, just for people to see if, you know, this, is this something they'd like to learn more about rather than uh, going too in-depth and uh, tying up too much of everybody's time. So we've kept the presentation to about 30 minutes. Uh, but we do want to now open it up for Q&A, which, as Ashley mentioned, uh, you can use the Q&A panel in um, the webinar interface. Doesn't look like we have any questions yet. And I can open, I'll open up the panel to monitor for questions. Uh, so we can wait a little bit to see if anyone has any questions here from the webinar. Uh, while we're waiting, um, I have Ashley uh, kind of go through her wrap-up information. Yeah, thank you, Matt. Um, yeah, I'll just let everyone know that if you think of additional questions later, um, you can simply reply to that confirmation uh, or reminder email you received from the webinar, and we can get those to Matt or your sales rep to get your questions answered. Uh, once again, um, as we close down today, a uh, so a short survey will just pop up um, and we do appreciate if you would fill that out for us. Um, and I don't see any questions popping in, Matt. So if- I don't either. Okay, well then we will just go ahead and wrap up and thank, thank everyone for uh, attending. Thank you, Matt, for the presentation. Have a great day, everybody.